The losing streak continued well into Sunday for our local teams, taking to the ice inside the Chetwin Rec Center now, where the Caltire Banjet girls took on the Clearview girls team. Starting things off early is Rain McLaughlin, who makes no mistake on a breakaway, puts the puck top shelf with a nice wrister from the slot. That wouldn't be the last time we hear from McLaughlin, and she was a factor in this game. Moving on to a few minutes later where Chetwin was down 1-0, Logan Richter sends the puck into the slot where Daniel Christie scores on a bit of a sloppy play by Clearview, but who cares, it's a tie game. Moving on now where Clearview kept pressing though as Christina Lehman sends the pass to Jordan Larson who returns it to Lehman who deposits the puck in the back of the net. If you're keeping score, the assist should be to Larson and the goal scorer Lehman, but of course that's not how hockey works. Clearview continued to press this time. It was on the power play as the dreaded Morton sisters got together for goal number three. Goalie Alex Morton leaves the puck from Annika Nixon van der Linden. That was a mouthful. Who dishes to Kaylin Morton to make the game 3-2. And yes, that's the power play goal. Clearview continued to run away with this game. And again, it was the usual suspect, Riley McLaughlin, the same lass who scored the game's opening goal, gets on the board for the second of the night, taking the puck in the slot, assists uh, Jordan Laren and Grace Giesbrick. We've got a little bit of controversy on Clearview's next goal as the puck comes from the point. It's a big wrister from Tess Harrington. While Riley McLaughlin is causing all sorts of havoc in front of the net, Chetwin fans are calling it a high stick, but the refs... Rule it went off goalie Keanu Watson and in. Regardless of what Chetwin says, it's 5-1 Clearview. Finally, with the game already out of hand, Devanna Leslie sends the pass to Danielle Christie, who leaves it for Logan Richter, who says, forget about the front of the net, I'll score from behind it. She gets her second of the game. And two bad goals from behind the net don't count like they do in football because the Chetwin Caltire Giants fall to the visiting Clearview team 5-2. to two. You can catch all the hockey wrap-up from this, this upcoming weekend's madness one week from tonight.